A man has been dragged from the surf unconscious. Oh my god. Oh, wait. Okay. A lifeless swimmer is being dragged from the water by members of the public. Straight away, I'm preparing for a recess. Just turn on this tank, I'll get it, I'll get it. Okay, uh... Defibrillators are used to resuscitate people by sending an electrical charge to the heart. Where are they? A man has been dragged from the surf unconscious. Lifeguards quickly assess the man to see if CPR is necessary. He did have a pulse and he was only just breathing by himself, so with the bag mask, we're giving him 100% oxygen. The man was pulled from the water between the flags. Can we bring that oxygen back over? The flags are normally the safest part of the beach. Is there anything you know about? No. Oh, no. we like, didn't see this. What caused the man's near-death experience? Yeah, this my whole life. I didn't see him. When the guy started coming around, we found out that he had actually got really bad cramp in his legs, and he, and he just couldn't even swim. He just went under. We're gonna chuck a, we should grab a therapy. Right, okay, we're just gonna change mask, right? Oh. Acker is from Western Sydney and was swimming with friends. Well, we're out swimming, we're about close to 100 metres out. Just got a leg cramp and just started panicking. We had to pull him back in shore. Acker, does he have any medical conditions, anything? The biggest concern for Acker is secondary drowning. The water Acker has swallowed could inflame his lungs and stop oxygen passing back into his bloodstream. We don't know how much water he swallowed. Our recommendation is get an ambulance down here, get checked out. What's that, mate? What's that? No ambulance. No ambulance. Acker said to us that he didn't want an ambulance. At the time, still didn't think it was a good idea. You know, it takes nothing for an ambulance to come down, check them out. The better, eh? Lifeguards can't force people into an ambulance. But uh, we managed to convince him to stay with us for another 10, 15 minutes just to make sure. Who's going to get him off the beach away from everyone? Akka may not want an ambulance, but secondary drowning remains a concern. It's always in the back of your mind. Was, you know, we would have loved for him to go to hospital just for a peace of mind. But yeah. It's essential lifeguards assess Acker further. Do you want to breathe normally? Yeah. We try, yeah? OK. Just relax. OK. Just be cold down here. Yeah. To measure the oxygen levels in Acker's blood, lifeguards use a pulse oximeter. How's it going down there, man? OK, I'm just checking the oxy. So the pulse oximeter give it to us the 96%, which is good indication for us that it's getting better. Yeah, there's an ambulance coming, we just want to cancel it. Yeah, they just, they were pretty bad and they've just, they've come pretty good now. So. And I was just swimming and then my leg died and, <laughs> and I was just sick, started sinking. <laughs> and then I looked back up and I'm on the sand with some something in my face, give me oxygen, <laughs> oxygen mask and yeah, that's how I went down. <laughs> Today, Acker is lucky that he's going home in a train and not an ambulance. It goes to show that you can't be too complacent. Even in the flags, you know, which is up there with the safest swimming areas, you know, things do happen. I think Acker owes a lot to his mates for pulling him out that day. I think Acker was a lucky man.